So good morning. Welcome to my bench. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about framing squares and a way to make them uh, more useful. So framing squares are used in construction. Probably that's maybe their primary use. They're very useful for uh, cutting rafters, stringers for stairs. They can also cut all kinds of angles. But I find um, these are really useful in the shop, mainly because they're larger and I can get a larger reference surface. So if I'm trying to square up a larger tabletop or something, I can use a framing square. Um, so the framing squares have a few limitations though, and I'll use a small square here to illustrate that. Um, usually when you use them, you kind of set them against your, your piece like this, um, and then you make a mark. Um, but when you what you have to do though, is you have to reference it against the edge of the board, and you have to kind of tip the square down in order to get contact. And if you'll notice, sometimes you don't, you can't get full contact with the edge of the square. And also when you do that, you notice that this, this side here tips up. So when you want to draw a line, uh, it can kind of inject some inaccuracies in there. Um, and also you can't use it one-handed. If you let go, the, the square falls down. Um, that can be a little frustrating. So um, let me introduce you to this little guy. This is what we call a framing square fence. What this is is a piece of extruded aluminum. And the way it works is that you take this and you can attach it to a framing square. You hook it on to the heel of the square, tighten these knobs here, and then you have a little fence that you can rest against your piece. Now I can set this up against my board and my square is flat. So I don't have that, that end of the square here tipping up, but also I can let go and use it no handed and without hands. Um, and also one side is real, is real tall, so you can use it on thicker boards. Um, well, you would have to use it on boards thicker than three quarter, but this side here is pretty thin, so you can actually use it on, on thinner boards. You can actually use it on boards as thin as a quarter of an inch, and it works fantastic. You just set it against there. And so that's a really useful tool. Um, the other thing is, is that it gives you a handle. You can hold on to your square. This right here is a nice ergonomically shaped uh, extrusion here. You can just hold on to it. It gives you a handle. You can hold on to it, and then you can set it down. So also another thing that's really useful for this thing is you can actually take it and you can actually put a clamp here and hold it in place and you can use this as a guide for like a router or another tool. So it has a whole bunch of uses in the wood shop. So um, pretty simple device, got two brass knobs. The brass knobs are nice because they're softer than most squares with steel and it won't dent it. So that's really cool. So we have these now, we just got them in stock. We've been out of stock for about six months. They're in stock at tatools.com. Tay Tools Framing Square Fence.